Forget electric propellers and giant drones. What if you could fly on something that looks like a motorcycle with jet engines? In 2025, a Polish inventor named Tomasz Patan, the same person who created the Jetson 1, just revealed his next project, the Volonaut Airbike. This isn't a propeller vehicle. This is a jet-powered flying machine that weighs less than most people, costs nearly a million dollars, and flies like something straight out of a superhero movie. Let's break down what it is, why someone would build this, and how it actually works. The Volonaut Airbike is basically a flying motorcycle powered by jet turbines instead of spinning propellers. Imagine a lightweight frame made almost entirely from carbon fiber and 3D printed parts, with small jet engines tucked underneath. The entire vehicle weighs only 66 pounds, about the same as a large dog. You sit on it like a motorcycle, completely exposed to the air with a 360 degree view around you. There's no enclosed cockpit, no roof, nothing blocking your view. It's designed to make you feel like you're actually flying, not just riding inside something that flies. In May 2025, the company released footage showing it taking off vertically, hovering steadily, and landing precisely. And in August, they started taking pre-orders with an $880,000 price tag. So why build something this extreme and expensive? The answer is performance and experience. Electric vehicles like the Jetson 1 are great for short trips and practical uses like rescues, but they're limited by battery weight and flight time. Jet engines running on diesel or kerosene can produce massive amounts of power without heavy batteries. This makes the airbike incredibly fast and agile. It can reach 124 miles per hour, though it's software limited to 63 in the United States to meet safety regulations. But speed isn't the only reason. This vehicle is designed for people who want the ultimate flying experience. The feeling of being completely free in the air, with wind rushing past and nothing between you and the sky. It's not about commuting, it's about the thrill.